are tuned to Revelation in Focus and we want to let you know that we are heartened by the fact that viewers throughout the length and breadth of Guyana, as far as Linden, Bartika, they're seeing this program and we've gotten feedback uh, that folks uh, find it very, very different to so many other programs uh, of this nature. Persons commented the fact that the historical background and the facts that we have been able to discuss on this program uh, have proven to be accurate and true. Um, on that note, we want to uh, remind you, our viewers, that this program does not in any way reflect the views of the Guyana Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. Uh, this basically reflect the views of Revelation in focus. All right, and so we speak here based on the authority of the Word of God and His impressions of the Holy Spirit on our consciences. On that note, I want to let you know that I'm yours truly, Cleveland Hudson, Elder Mentor is with us, Elder Union is with us, and we are going to have a grand time as we discuss the Word of God. We are reading from Revelation 11, and we are looking at verse 11 onwards. But before we do, we'll pray. Elder Union, you can lead us to the throne of grace. Oh God and Father, we, we're grateful that we are alive. Yes. And that we're thankful that, that you've called us in this degenerate age to such a task. Mm. And we ask of you to forgive us our sins. And we ask of you to take full charge of the proceedings today in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Elder Union, Elder Mentor, two witnesses of the apocalypse. We continue this discourse. Uh, based on the Word of God. Last time we, 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 we were here, we discussed uh, the two witnesses, the importance of having uh, one textbook and not several. Um, you want to know that you're using a translation that does not twist the truth, uh, does not seek to reform God's Word. Uh, what has happened is, over time, there have been many modifications and uh, Elder Union, you'll agree with us, with, with me, that you don't want to have a translation uh, that is deemed new light. Okay. Uh, because when you talk about new light, mm -hmm. it, <laughs> it must be taken with a pinch of salt because you want to know <coughs> that it does not differ from the old parts. You want to know that you're using a textbook that was used by the by the reformers, mm -hmm. those who have gone before, okay, and not uh, persons who are popping up here and there with new understandings of the scriptures, you know. Uh, so, Revelation 11, reading from verse 11, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them which saw them and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them come up hither and they ascended up to the heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them and the same hour was there a great earthquake and the tenth part of the city fell and in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand, and the remnant were affrighted, and gave glory to God of heaven. The second woes pass, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Three and a half days, and the spirit of, of life from God entered them. On this program we have discussed before, the prophetic understanding of what of the day year principle we've quoted from kings and we've quoted uh, numerous other passages of scripture that support uh, that says behold i give you a day for a year 
So the three and a half days, Elder Mentor and Elder Union, let's, let's talk about this. What is the Bible saying here? Um, that the Spirit of God entered into these two witnesses. Now we would have, we would have been able to show from Scripture what the two witnesses are. Let, let's perhaps go back over that a bit. What are these two witnesses? Yes, um, the two witnesses are, like we said before, the, the entire Bible okay. with its two part, the Old and New Testament. Mm -hmm. Or someone once called them the Testament brothers, mm -hmm. the Old and the New. Uh, now, now, the reason I went back there, there is some confusion today. In some sections of uh, believers, they are of the view that it speaks to prophets, some folk who ascended to heaven and all of that. Um, based on the historic context of the scripture, we are talking here about the Old and New Testament and not people. Exactly right. Fine. Not individuals, but the Old and New Testament. But what can bear a more, a more clearer witness to God than His Word? Yes, right. Now, um, the Bible is its own defender. Yes. Right? Um, based on what you said, you're talking about people, right? When you look at what's written here, right? Uh, uh, um, a person was not outlawed for three and a half days. You, 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 you understand? So, so, so the context and, and, and what's written here clearly shows it's talking about the scriptures. Okay. The, the, the scripture said that they lay dead in the streets, etc., and they were burnt and so forth. Persons can't survive that. Mm -hmm. so, it, so it's clear we're talking about the word, you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's symbolic. Yes, it's symbolic. Symbolic. Okay. symbolic. Mm -hmm. and, and some amount of personification has applied. Yes. yes. Um, and so forth. Um, and I like what you alluded to. Um, the fact that the Bible is its own defender That's right. throughout the years mm -hmm. there have been lots of attacks against the Bible mm -hmm. um, the rise of atheism and secularism and um, various so-called prophets of the day have come up and have tried to mm -hmm. put the Bible aside but <laughs> when you look at the prophetic power of the scriptures mm -hmm. You cannot, you cannot avoid the Bible. It, the, 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 the Bible stands out as a remarkable, uh, uh, a remarkable book among other books mm -hmm. uh, and, and holds within its pages life and, 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 and power to transform life. Unlike so many other books that you read, that does that, that, that do not have a prophetic reference exactly that. let me just inject this piece just a few years before the bible was outlawed mm -hmm. between november 10 1793 mm -hmm. and june the 17 1797 mm -hmm. voltaire mm -hmm. a famous french writer mm -hmm. um, alluded to the fact that the, um, the bible for the matter he, 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 he made the proclamation he boldly proclaimed that in a few years the bible would be Totally, totally annihilated and <laughs> obliterated and have no yes. meaning and so I on. I read something that I So no doubt when this three and a half years in which the Bible was more or less outlawed came, mm -hmm. Voltaire probably was celebrating and was exulting in, in, in his predictions. Mm -hmm. But today there is no Voltaire. <laughs> but the word of God continues. Hallelujah. to gain relevance and, 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 and even gaining more prominence and Hallelujah. relevance today. Hallelujah. Um, excuse me. Mm -hmm. What Brother Mento is saying there, mm -hmm. I read it. Mm -hmm. I can't repeat it verbatim, mm -hmm. but basically what Voltaire said is somebody this armor, 12 men, mm -hmm. um, you know, they're talking about 12 men who, who, who preached the Bible and so forth. And so on, okay, we, we sort of like promoted it and, 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 and exalted it. Mm -hmm. And he said, one man, which is he talking about? Will we'll, 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 we'll undo. That's right. All the work right. of the men. Uh, you know, the longest rope has an end. Mm -hmm. And you can do what you like. 
but not as long as you like. Exactly. Uh, what persons must remember, uh, you're talking about the arm of flesh. Mm -hmm. The word of God itself says the arm of flesh will fail. And mm -hmm. so these guys who came up against the word of God, they failed. Exactly. They're gone. Mm -hmm. exactly. The word of God is still here and, and, and <clears throat> still doing the work of transformation in game. Exactly. It's through the scriptures, and, and, and we, we would, have, would have emphasized this uh, with your day last discussion, that it is in the scriptures that we find the Messiah. Mm -hmm. exactly. And it is through the scriptures that the, the Holy Spirit transforms the life yeah. and, 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 and keeps ever before the soul the ultimate standard of truth yep. and, and morals see when you have a society where the word of god is trampled and disregarded you have a society where sin is exalted and the word of god says yes. righteousness exalts a nation but, but sin is a reproach to any people yep. look around the world today look at the confusion look at the chaos look at at, at the, the atrocities that you see manifested. Look at the violence, person to person violence, domestic violence, child abuse. Look at all these things. It's all on the rise because of a disregard for the word of God. Exactly. You see? I'm downplaying the word of God. That, that, that's the bottom right? line. Yes. So um, it said after three and a half mm -hmm. days, mm -hmm. after three and a half years, the spirit of life from God, well, God is the life giver. Entered into it. Exactly. Entered into it. So, um, it's God's word and God will defend his word. Yes. So no doubt God allowed men to recognize what could happen to you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in allowing France to do what it did. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when they recognized that their society was in a mess yes. without the word of God, yes. then they decided to accept yes. that the word of God is the standard to follow. Exactly. So, so in other words, based on what the, the Bible is saying, um, it says, uh, that, and they heard a voice from heaven saying, Come up hither. Mm -hmm. But before that, the Spirit of God entered into them. They stood upon their feet. No, they stood mm -hmm. upon their feet. And um, great fear um, fell upon them that saw them. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. And the Word of God, uh, uh, it, 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 it propels the fear of God. You know, it elicits that from mm -hmm. the fear of God. And so when they saw the prominence of the scriptures rise again and began the transformation work again, fear fell upon them. The fear of God, they saw what God could do. And, and also See? of their, their guilty consciences to know that so they fought against this war. They, they extolled themselves, they exalted themselves, and, mm -hmm. and they felt that, look, <clears throat> You, take, you took off the garden yoke of the word of God, mm -hmm. trying to curtail my way of living. And now, here it is, back on you again. Yes. Yes, yes Elder Union. No, I, I found something here, not exactly what I said just now, but I found something here about um, Voltaire, right? Voltaire had predicted the disappearance of the Bible, dismiss, dismissing it as last year's almanac. Mm -hmm. Wow. I just found it here. But, 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 but look, at what happened to France. No, no, and we're going there. We're going there. Um, verse, verse 12, and, and they heard a voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. Ascended in a cloud, come up to heaven. Let's talk about that. What's the Bible speaking to here? Well, um, <clears throat> Like Christ, when Christ would have finished his ministry, etc., mm -hmm. and his work would have finished, Christ ascended to heaven in a cloud. Mm -hmm. All right, and um, we know that he's up there taking care of our salvation. Mm -hmm. And so, the word of God, of which Christ is the living word, this is the written word of God, mm -hmm. was called up, meaning that God exalted it. God rose it back to prominence, mm -hmm. right? After it being trampled upon for so many That's years. Right. Yes. And you've, as, a, as a consequence, you found that great fear fell upon men and, and, and Bible societies start springing up all over the world. 
right? Like, for example, the British um, Bible Society, British and Foreign Society, which, which started in 1804. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you had another great, the American Bible Society in 1816. Yes. And many others came up. And, and so the Bible is being translated today in over 1,500 languages mm -hmm. and dialects, etc. Mm -hmm. The Bible has gained tremendous momentum uh, and so forth. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, okay. And the enemies beheld. Well, um, I like that the Psalms 1 comes to mind that prepares the table before in the presence of my enemies. Mm -hmm. The enemies Psalm uh, against mm -hmm. yes. Psalm 20. The, the enemies mm -hmm. of the scriptures beheld the power and rise the plumbings of the world in yeah. their presence. They saw nothing they could do about it. Yes. You see? Um, um, mm -hmm. Hold on. When the, the, the scriptures mentioned here, but um, you know, ascended to heaven, mm -hmm. okay? Now, if you care to, you, you could look at Daniel 4, 2, which talks about Nebuchadnezzar with his greatness and all that. So it simply means exaltation, great exaltation. Mm -hmm. So when it says here the Bible you know, was ascended up to heaven, it means after being trodden down and, you know, and et cetera, et cetera, it goes to prominence, yes. okay? And now, mm -hmm. I'm sure we've heard it said several times before, the Bible is today the bestseller. Of course. And it has... And it's uh, been so for quite a while. There is no continent and planet or yes. where the Bible can't be found. True. None. True. Oh, it's, on, it's in all the continents. <laughs> you know? Um, there's a lot more in there. Um, when you look at the distance uh, of, of heaven and earth, um, the, the Word of God, and, and, and so much is, is that this is really powerful. Uh, the, the, the God says, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will stand forever. Mm -hmm. The Word of God be, being exalted to the highest heavens speaks to the prominence of the Word of God, yep. the power of it, and its importance to the human heart and the human life. Yeah. Okay? Um, our, our dependence, so to speak, on God's word for guidance, for power, for enlightenment, see? Um, and so, so, so it, it, it's, it's, it's all speaking to that when it talks about. But then look, look at this. And the same hour there was a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand, and the remnant were frightened and gave glory to God of heaven. Let's talk about that. We said before, um, quoting from the Bible, righteousness <coughs> exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. We speak today of the confusion and the chaos we see in societies where the word of God is rejected. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about France, what happened in France. Well, the, um, the earthquake is symbolic of the, um, the turmoil and the upheaval mm -hmm. that took place in France in particular, in other parts of the world too, but in France in particular around this time. Mm -hmm. um, the level of vice and, and lawlessness that existed and, and the, the set of bloodshed and all that like that was there, right? Mm -hmm. um, it, was, it was amazing to what level the French people have descended into lawlessness and licentiousness and all the like. Licentiousness, <coughs> they, 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 in other words, they became the porn city of the world. Exactly the point. Lord have mercy. Right? And, and just like it was said, um, when it, it, it was likened unto Sodom, mm. right? And so they were and there, Egypt. right? And France itself, um, the tenth part is considered as um, France was one of the ten countries, if we could remember, ten horns. that came out of the one of the horns mm -hmm. that came out of the of the Roman Empire, as well as France was also one of the mainstay for the medieval church mm -hmm. in Rome. Mm -hmm. So that was one of its main arm, one of its ten main arms. Mm -hmm. So that ten part could have represented it either side you cut it, whether by pagan Rome or papal Rome, mm -hmm. France represented one tenth mm -hmm. of, 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 of that empire. Uh -huh. Right? And, and, and this, this 7,000 men that were slain, it, it, it wasn't, um, it was people of all class and strata. Uh -huh. when, when the French Revolution was in its full bloom, there was no regard for 
class and status. Mm -hmm. Nobles, uh, men of, um, of noble birth, men of religious order, nobody was spared. Okay? When they started, um, the, the, um, Napoleon and his men plundered a lot of people and did a lot of things to them. But one good thing we can say that came out of that is that um, it halted the persecution against the Jews in Spain. Because we know that the Inquisition that was going on by the medieval church, yes. right? And the Jews had to relinquish their names and all that, like just to exist there. That French Revolution brought some reprieve to them, some release to them, because they were able to own up back to their names and have their properties and everything because Napoleon was now the boss. Mm -hmm. So at least it did one thing good for one group of persons. Which again <coughs> speak to the fact that. God has promised to shelter, to be a shelter for his people. Exactly. He has promised to be a strong tower. The word of God says in the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and save. Mm -hmm. um, and this also speaks to even the future. That look, regardless of what um, uh, is coming on the earth, tribulation etc there's a there's a teaching that says that before the tribulation God will somehow whisk away secretly his people God doesn't need to whisk away anybody God can preserve his people and 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 and, and when the Bible for example refers to Egypt you remember exactly what happened with the plagues exactly in Egypt. because and, because the um, pharaohs ma magicians mimic the forest free exactly and and, and as, as a consequence um, the children of israel um suffered a little inconvenience but after then the seven plagues. from 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 the fourth plague go back <laughs> god decided to pull the mark of uh, uh, alignment he said here let me line it up right let 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 you know who what's going Who's on here boss? Who, all right yeah, you know <laughs> and hence we have the seven last plagues and not the ten like in egypt yes yes so 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 the fact is um um we, 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 we can see two main points coming out here. Mm -hmm. Point number one is righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Mm -hmm. Any nation, any kingdom in which the word of God is trampled, disregarded, uh, made redundant, uh, secondary, uh, chaos, moral decay, degradation results mm -hmm. and slaughters on the contrary a nation that exalts the word of God and uses it as its foundation the results is prosperity that nation because and, and, and is exalted no, 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 excuse me did we make the point that um the same parliament whatever mm -hmm. the same folks that Outlaw the Bible, mm -hmm. who, who can disregard it, and okay, mm -hmm. it's the same people when they saw the great earthquake, which is the, the tremendous results. They say, you know something, by let me bring back this thing, <laughs> and, 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 and 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 after three and a half years, okay, the resolution right was put to them. It was legislated. All right, but, but it is, and it was passed without one dissenting vote. <laughs> one dissenting so vote. you see the word of God in wrong. They were revived and the enemies beheld the ascension of the word of God, mm -hmm. the, the, the resurrected power of the scriptures, and they didn't dissent to it. They didn't dissent to it. And have we seen the results? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I mean, what they, you know, voted, etc. Mm -hmm. This one here, you know something? I live with rent, houses, to worship. <laughs> All these things are history. Look, go back to a little service, right? Mm -hmm. and, and so forth, and, and so forth, spread the word. So, so they, they, they realize that, um, you know, if we, f if we forget God, Satan will rule. Will rule. So and from then in France, religious, so religious exactly. liberty was a guarantee. Exactly, that's right. Regardless of what religion you were from. Mm, yes. Conscious. That's yeah. right. Mm. Um, the, 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 the other thing to note too, mm. um, and, and I like to use, I like to use um, uh, practical illustrations and current events like today. 
how much have we as a world, as a society, learned from this? When you have, for example, mm -hmm. leaders, when you have persons coming up with this mm -hmm. bright idea, you shouldn't have prayers in school. You shouldn't have... Uh, you're playing with a lot of trouble. When you have situations, and as a result of that, look at the confusion. Mm -hmm. You have the various strands happening. You, you, you have all kinds of moral upheaval and degradation and decay resulting. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, but when the word of God is reestablished, what do you have? You have cohesion. You have peace. You have respect. You have social order. Come on. Amen. Tolerance and, and all of that is back in exenit because persons understand the importance of, of, of living in peace and in harmony. The Word of God does that. Because the Bible speaks to your conscience. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Maybe we should, um, you know, say a couple of things that, that you know, that were granted yes. to believers, right? <clears throat> that all citizens might buy or hire edifices for the exercise of worship, right? Mm -hmm. That all congregants, you know, I uh, is, is doing doing this little research here, make I understand this thing ringing the bell. Mm -hmm. Here it says, that, that all congregations might assemble the sound of bells. <laughs> I never, you know, okay? And here it is, that any individual attempting to impede or in any way in interrupt the public worship should be fined up to 500 lira. Wow. And you see, so, so, so they put sanctions now to disregard the same Bible. Bible. Sanctions now if you disregard. So going on. <laughs> they gone from so to right over so now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, and there's so much more, but yes. I think, you know, yes. these are good, okay? Yes. But, but one mm. of the most significant blow of the French Revolution was the, the, the blow to the papacy. When the Pope was taken captive, captive in 1719. Wonderful. Right? Mm -hmm. Now we must wrap up. Yeah, that's we can right. wrap up with the final verse. Yeah. The second woe is past, mm -hmm. and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Mm -hmm. We will go into this in our next that's right. discussion. Yeah. Uh, and as we wrap up, we want to say to our viewers folk, the call is made again. The emphasis is made again of the importance of the Word of God. It brings <laughs> peace in our homes. It brings respect. It brings tolerance in our in our society, in our communities. It brings harmony. Enough cannot be said of the benefits of the Word of God. What kind of transformation it brings to the life. And so folk, don't just depend on what you hear from the pulpits. Have personal Bible study. Feast on the word yourself, for yourself. And by the grace of God, transformation will be yours as well. And you will find a peace with God never had before once you feast on the word of God. Let us pray as we close. Jehovah, we thank you for the opportunity that we could share your word with uh, those who are listening and those who will see this presentation. We pray that your word will accomplish that which you sent it out to do and will not return into you void. Let your spirit do the talking. We thank you for hearing and answering our prayers in Yahshua's name. Amen. Amen.